welcome back to our channel myasimhelp.in uh, in this video we will look about the uh, sap transaction called file okay so this uh, file transaction we don't regularly use it but then whenever you are using lsmw and if you find some issue related to logical file path uh, especially when you are doing the data conversion uh, during the read data or the uh, specify file uh, step then this particular transaction will be helpful. So I will run through you uh, on a demo in the system. So let's go and look at the demo part. The SIP system, you can see here, we are in the LSMW transaction. So these are my project details and all. So let's go inside. I have already defined many of the details, so uh, we can look into that. So we can see uh, this is the LSMW part. So you can see this is a standard object method. So this is a standard uh, batch input method okay that's what i have chosen here and then store structures is defined source fields are defined structure field mapping all these are done i have already done that just to show cut short the time uh, i will go to the real part we go and see the specific files here okay when you go to specific files when you go to a change mode then if you try to save this data okay generally this gets created logical file then you can see it will ask you for the converted data no file has been specified so this is what uh, this comes here okay in those cases what we do is uh, we go to this converted data uh, give the file name so i can give a file name and just give the same file name just for the demo purpose i have actually to the converted data i put it so here what we need to do is we need to give a logical path so some if you don't have a data it will be coming as a blank here since i have tested you see a data here so let's say i give a z bomb to and then i give the path also z bomb to then i just go to maintain just get this so it is asking you you can see here logical path bomb 2 does not exist do you want to create it i can give yes logical file z bomb 2 does not exist do you want to create it yes in some conditions uh, you know system allows you to get created automatically here okay in case even after this if system says that it is if it's not able to find that then what we will be doing is we have to go to a transaction called as a file Okay, that's what I'm going to show it to you now. Just trying to go to a slash o f i l e. When you go to a file, there's a transaction. You should know this is a cross client part. Okay, first thing we should have a you know if you go to SEC four setting, there it should have got this one opened. Okay, uh, that is very important for us if you go to scc4 there's a cross client object changes right changes to repository cross client customization allowed so that should be enabled that only this cross client activity will be done so here what we do is we are in the transaction called file okay so you go and enter as a new entry so let's say i put it as a call as that bomb 3 that bomb 3 so just we need to just say that so this is a path the logical path and then we need to give a physical path so here if i go to so there are a lot of things in the group so i just take windows nt because all of us are windows applications are worse and then physical path uh, if you type something then it will give you error what we have to actually do is it gives a warning message use placeholder so what we actually need to do is we just do what has been given here file name which means system will take the file name and it will write it whatever you are giving that is what this announce okay and just save it so since this is a um, Oh, uh, as I said, this is a cross client object. Workbench request is getting created. You just need to save this. So this is how our file transaction work. This is a, a very good uh, knowledge area. In case if any time you face this issue, we will be able to use this. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have any doubt on this area or any points that you want to discuss, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, we will connect it. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye.